my loins ache for some excitement. Off we go. No, no, that's my daughter you're talking about. Your loins should not be getting excited for that. All right, it's time for us to check our feels at the door because we are back to Lisa, the painful RPG. Back by popular demand. First video went up, I just threw it out there as a little... What do you guys think about this? And the majority of you guys were excited about me checking this out and definitely want to see some more. So hey, as long as you accompany me on this journey, we shall indeed do more. Maybe even the entire thing. But I was told plenty of hints and tips, which I do appreciate. As long as you keep it just hints and tips related, that's perfectly fine. But uh, nothing is going to spoil any story literally for me. Like, Don't be like, Falcon, if you do this, so-and-so is going to die, because that would be pretty bad for me to know. But if you want to give me, like, a tip, like, you know, hey, you should probably focus on this here, then that's that's perfectly okay. As long as you don't spoil why I'm doing this. Did this man just do a swan time dive, a swan time dive, I should say, from the top? He dove in so hard, his body's still erect. He's holding on to something. You found a diet Coca-Cola. Cola, that... That hurts my brain. Out of my way. I want that little bitch over to myself. And right, in case you haven't caught the first video, definitely recommend you do so, so you know what we're doing here. But, um, we are trying to search for Buddy. Not Lisa, who I thought was Lisa. Apparently, the Lisa thing we'll cover later. I was told about the, the sequence of games here, but we'll cover that later. And now we got a fight. I will be doing Armstrong style, obviously, and Terry. Um, let's see how weak you are. Walter Stingray. <laughs> That's a good name. Brad is now crying. Oh, you trip and you hit for zero. Oh, well, good. WWS, okay. Bosta punches. Excellent. Let's go with Armstrong style. I what 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 do we have here? Hints. Gives an enthusiastic chant. I'll have to read into what that actually does. Skills. All right, just just guard for now, Terry. How about that? All right, just hang out there. I uh, he's also crying now too. He's crying as to how useless he is to me right now, probably. Get us ready for what's to come. This is not an easy game, too, as I was told, too, so... This old salmon swimming downstream tonight. <laughs> well, I mean, his name was Walter Stingray, but apparently he turned to a salmon, so... Instead of going upstream, he's going downstream. It's cute, I like it. So let's continue onwards here. So we go into this spooky-ass cave. This man's missing an arm, and apparently his stomach's... there's a big hole in there. I can't believe it. Such an ugly girl. Hey, hey. Is that like the second... I feel like that's the second time we've um, heard somebody talk about, um... the looks of Buddy? Like, I believe somebody in the first video said something about, like, for such an ugly girl or something like that. And this guy said the same thing. He's dead. You know, it's the beauty in the inside that counts. My teacher tells me real beauty's on the inside. That's just something ugly people say. He's dead. Or, oh, I guess he had suffered because he's now a pair. Excuse me? Hey! Uh, I'm not dead you yet, you prick. Come back here so I can kick your ass. Tough guy, huh? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not the tough guy. You're the tough guy. Doesn't look to be in good shape, though, that much I'll tell you. What's his name? Jeffrey Cummings. <laughs> oh, well, I guess he was on the verge of death anyway, so one combo was enough. Oh, oh. There's an item over there which looks to be, like... Books in the comic or something? Ugh. Ugh. A hundred, huh? Okay. Alright, cool. <laughs> What do we got here? We got a secret stash. 50 ma- oh, okay, well, hey, we, we got- we got money, at least. Nice, we're at 64. Anything over here? No? Okay. This isn't gonna kill me, right? No, okay. I mean, I imagine it probably shouldn't, this is the only place left to go. We got drawings of poop. Bloody hands. Mystery jerky. Alright, men. I'm gonna stay here and block the entrance. You guys go search around in case she's already been through it. You got it, boss. Sugar boys, drifters, out. Alright. We might have another boss fight coming up here at some point. Ooh. 
Nice little lighting effect. Oh, so yeah, to go back to what I talked about earlier, kind of mentioned, and then we got into some fights here. But um, apparently, this is kind of like the middle game of this Lisa series, I guess if you want to call it that. There's two other games according to you guys. Um, the, the Joyful, which is the DLC to this game, which is kind of like a sequel. And there's like something, that, another game that's before this game, if I'm right. Um, I don't think it really matters what order I played it by what I read from you guys, but um, there are more games, so hey. I don't want to get ahead of myself, assuming we cover the entirety of this game, and there's enough interest for the other ones, I'll definitely consider checking them out too, but um, you know, just let me know how you guys feel about that and we shall do so. You're the man that was just speaking right now. Alright. Well, this doesn't seem like a talk yourself out of the situation type of thing here. This is a joke, Bob, man. You think you can handle what's going on out there? <laughs> I'll give you a taste. Sugar Mountain. All right, let's go on here and um, bum, 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 bum. let's see. Um, you might have to do something for me here. You might have to use you for cheers or something at least. Gives an enthusiastic chant. Use disparaging words to upset the opponent. This can either make them cry or get a piss. Let's go. Um, Terry, you absolute moron. <laughs> I don't think he needs to be pissed. Can we can we counter up? Can we offset that by like verbal bashing some more? Don't get him double piss. Okay, he's crying now. Okay. What? Instant replay, please. Hopefully she's already dead, so I can see her in hell. Hey, hey, no, she's not going to hell, number one. Number two, even if she was to go to hell, you have no right to interact with her in hell either, you scumbag. Okay, you guys, uh, yeah, yeah, I figured, I figured as much. We have a safe buddy right there, too. Good. He's dead. Worn helmet. Ooh. Is that equipment? Because, like, late, earlier on, we got that knife. That apparently none of us could use, but... What about this... Football helmet? No. That's a shame. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna probably pick up more people that could probably use that. They're dead. Oh. Ah! What have you done? No, yeah, I guess it was probably supposed to happen. Why is that man over there hip-thrusting next to my body? Stop that! Time... is a great teacher. Sadly, it kills all his pupils. He's not wrong. <laughs> I mean, first he looked like a badass, but then I realized he's like on a deer. Howdy, motherfucker. Our pants had crossed yet again. Do you remember our time spent as we lads? Oh. I knew you as a young kid, huh? I do. Fondly. My heart just humbles with joy, thinking about it. Like your head in a dry. Normally you'd be dead and stripped of your wares by now. But, I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shall give you a choice. Your fellow shirted fr yellow f shirted friend's life. All, all of your belongings. Choose wisely. What will you give us? I mean, Terry's been... Well, I mean, no, no, he hasn't been useless. He was useless, but then he apparently turned to the MVP that we needed in our life. Uh, against uh, that man, Sugar Mountain. And then you guys told me to not give up on Terry. So this is probably what you meant, right? <laughs> How boring. All right, boys, strip him quickly. I hear tell that a female is on the loose. My loins ache for some excitement. Off we go. No, no, that's my daughter you're talking about. Your loins should not be getting excited for that. No. Oh. oh, all the stuff. Terry, wake your ass up. Uh, my head. Whoa, <laughs> you look like hell. Are you okay, dude? What happened? 
Um, we got hit by a truck. It was some old friends. Everything is okay now. Damn. First my hamstring, now this. You're a bad omen. Yeah. I guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. I like hanging out with you. Ah, again? It's the third time Terry Hintz has joined our group. Awesome music is back, too. The game has such good music. Which I was told, apparently, is all like... Basically, one dude made all this. Music. Oh! Oh! This man's ass exploded at me. I apparently have one new item in my inventory as well. <laughs> Thank you, Steam. Appreciate it. Um... My man with the pepperoni nipples? What you got there cooking, huh? Uh, seems like a storm is brewing around here. You look tired. Are you hungry? If you have an empty bottle, you can have some of me soup. Also, if you need rest, you can use my tent. Well, um, I appreciate the offer, but you see, what happened here is I had to trade Terry's life for all my items, so they, they even took the empty bottles, the, the, the rootless scumbags. They have no chill whatsoever. I can use your tent for resting, huh? Hey, I guess we... Should? Can I trust you, though? I don't know who to trust in this game. Sure. Hopefully this is all fine and dandy. I heard a dinger. No. Everything's good. Alright, well, thank you. Appreciate it. The world can be save finder. Should I be worried about this man over here staring at me mysteriously like? That or it looks like he's covering his junk and he's over there taking care of business by himself. What is it? Ah, he rushed at me like the scumbag that he is. Bobby Diddle. <laughs> Maybe I was right about what he was doing back there afterwards. He was diddling himself. My intestines are in disarray. We'll see what happens to them when you die, you defecate yourself, so... That's- that's probably what you're experiencing right now, my friend. Tell your friends some of your favorite combat tips increases SP. Hmm. Okay. I wonder how much the increase is gonna be, because that could be fairly useful. So I'm curious, if I go up through there... I could go through... I could drop down for that bottle, and there's a- maybe a hole there, too. So I guess we should probably... What happened? What the hell is that status on me? Withdrawal. Hurts you all over. Oh no. It's a joy withdrawal. But they took my joy. Ten? Okay, you know what? I'll take ten for uh, a bottle. We can come back and fill that up with soup anyway. Uh, should I be in here? These background beats are so good. It's a bucket, right? Um, they'll seem to be kids, so I'm gonna assume you are uh, a nice individual, Mustacho man. Tommy, don't play with matches. How did you even get those, sport? Give them to. Oh shit! What do you want? Um, I'm I'm looking for a child. This is my orphanage. All these kids have been abandoned. I'm taking care of them because no one else will. Why are you? There's, um, there's a fire behind you, by the way. Oh, Tommy! <laughs> now look what you did. It's okay, sport. We'll get that put out. Hey, could you hand me that bucket of water? Sure, I guess. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! Why are they aflame? What do you mean, you fool? You told me to grab the bucket of water when I'm supposed to throw it on him. The fire, right? Not that. That. Who has a gasoline bucket? Oh. Hey, who knew there was a bu uh, bucket of water up here? I don't hear the sizzling sounds anymore, by the way. Oh, good God, they're all ash. I'm gonna be mad about this. I feel like I'm gonna be mad about this. It's a misunderstanding. It's a misunderstanding, dog. 
You were too late. This is the second most tragic thing to happen in my life. Really? Um, six defenseless kids burning in front of you? Most- second most tragic. What? <laughs> I can only imagine what the first one was, what would happen then. Seven burnt down? Alright, well, we have... let's find her. We got doors here. Plenty of doors to choose from. Are you also a door? You're not a door. But there is, I think, a knife in here. Yo, I found a cigarette! See the red skulls? It means Rando's army has taken over. Which sucks. Cause the only gasoline within miles is in there. How the hell am I gonna make fire bombs? Oh. Rando, huh? Okay, well, I've heard of Rando before. That's initially who we kind of consider giving Buddy off to for goods. He's dead. Alright, so before I go into those doors, let me check if there's... Hmm. Anything over here. Hey pal, you okay? What's wrong? Getting sentimental, brother? Uh, no. Just asking. Uh oh. Here it comes. I'm closing my eyes. Good night, Olet. Uh, bye. Lucas gave his final. Lucas? Is that a... Would that be a little bit of a nod towards, uh, Mother... Three? Okay, Lucas has died. Hello, my friend. Uh, not sure what that was about. Anyway, a whole mob of guys ran through here going on about a girl. A balding guy in pink, and a phallic-headed man in green cut, the bridge out. They look really scared. Neither of them fit for battle. Everyone got pissed and started to leave. Then all of a sudden, these three dudes with amazing hair found the girl. Apparently, she was in that truck. Pretty crazy, huh? They invited everyone back to the house, clubhouse, in the old factory. I didn't go. That chick looked ugly. That's rude. Beauty is in the inside. Why does everybody keep calling her ugly? It's locked. Nothing left over Lucas. I probably shouldn't walk anymore. Bridge is out. So you, we don't have the balloon there to stop me. Otherwise, you know, without the balloon, you die. Okay, so we gotta just choose a... Oh, God, it's late, though. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one because we're out of time. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are, let me know in the comments and be leaving a thumbs up. If there's enough interest, we'll definitely keep going for more. Um, we have doors to choose from. I don't need it to you to tell me which one to choose from because that'd be kind of cheap, but, um... I do have a choice. And if you guys maybe want to give me a hint, uh, <laughs> without spoiling anything, that's fine, but... We do have doors to choose from. I will catch you next time.